magnificent Helen Pankhurst. She is celebrated like a rock star. Helen Pankhurst, great-granddaughter of Emmeline Pankhurst, one of Britain's most eminent campaigners for women's rights, at a women's march on London's Trafalgar Square. To be speaking here on the exact same platform used by my grandmother, Sylvia, and my great-grandmother, Emmeline, during those very, very difficult suffragette campaign feels incredibly surreal. Dismissed as... People have always asked Helen Pankhurst about her name. And as a consequence, she got involved with feminism from a young age. She now writes books and uses her famous name to raise awareness of the battles that still need to be fought. As you put the sash on, there's that engagement with um, the past, um, the same words still relevant today, and you feel quite um, energised. Over 100 years ago, Helen's family sometimes used militant tactics to fight for women's right to vote. They were put in prison and went on hunger strike. Today, women do have equal rights. But for Helen Pankhurst, there are still many injustices in daily life. The overall misogyny, the overall male entitlement at work, at home, um, girls putting themselves backwards, the whole pinkification of their um, space. Uh, just there's so many ways in which we still have a major problem. Helen Pankhurst says there is still a lot of work to do in Parliament itself. That's despite a third of British MPs being women and there being a female Prime Minister, Theresa May. She often works with female politicians. We're still in a very male-dominated atmosphere and we still had, I had a colleague in, in previous colleague in the 2015 sitting who was woofed at across the chamber from by a, a, a Conservative MP, Nicholas Soames, and that kind of behaviour still goes on. It's a very adversarial atmosphere. At events in Parliament and also at the women's marches, Helen Pankhurst stands shoulder to shoulder with Britain's politicians and they are listening to her. What we need is feminism without borders, a world where the voices of the poorest women count as much as that of the richest men. The rallying calls of old are just as good as ever. Deeds, not words. Deeds, not words. Yeah.